Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to another episode of War Hospital Chapter 2 here on the PS5. Right, uh, so uh, last time out we did the the man with wide brimmed hat and we unlocked a new depot which we then couldn't toggle. Sir, we lost this patient. Uh, let's see if we can toggle it now after having rebooted the game. Let's go Sir, inside the sky tent. Uh, no. We've got a truck coming back. Maybe when that truck returns, we'll be able to try and tag the, the other location. I think it's still bugged from this not being a, a, new, a new save file. So, that's a bit of a shame. Hopefully, Chapter 3... When we get to chapter three, we'll be better. We shall see. Uh, right, Sir, so. Operation was successful. Let's have a look. We've got our scouts, both teams coming back. Uh, we're four days away from the final push. Got uh, two more attacks that we can see coming up. One of those might be. Was successful. Oh no, no, they're uh, they're 24 hours apart. Sir, so. Doctor is starting a new shift. All right, uh, a lot of stuff going on in the background here. Let's see, we've got all these patients in here. We've got Matthew Baker still going through uh, rehabilitation to go to HQ for promotion, and we've got some other soldiers there as well. Uh, let's check on our nurses. Oh wow, look how oh, tired. All our teams are over here. Oh boy, that's that's a lot of very tired. <laughs> but a lot of very tired people. Let's get these out of here quickly before they start collapsing. And let's uh, draft over a couple of teams from here. There we go. Sir, medics are on the way. Oh, we still got 13 patients yeah. to account for. Alright, what are we building? Sir? Let's check our uh, other staffing over here. Let's take a couple of nurses out of the OR, give them a rest. Let's take uh, Mia out of CCS as well. Sir, are on the way. Engineers. Okay, so we're building an enhancement to the nurses room and CCS. Surge is ready to go back into making some stuff again. Let's put him there so we can take uh, Richard out. And we'll take Maxwell out as well. And let's have a look at our patients. Alright. Uh, let's try and get these ones in. Don't know if they're going to survive or not. These uh, medics Sir, just running medics for a break. Let's take a look at the trenches. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. Well staffed with Sir, men again. Patient is cured. No casualties. That's good. We're out of alcohol, but we've got some more coming back. Sure to rehab. Okay, that's good. Sir, operation was successful. Sir, operation was successful. Right, 
right, so we are... Four minutes away from getting our nurse room upgrade done. 18 minutes away from the CCS being done. Another tired nurse in the OR. Oh, another two tired nurses. Uh, I'll just have to hold on a little bit longer. Our ambulances are working well. That's good. What have we got in supplies? We've got 2,000 supplies. We've got 12 permits. Let's start looking at doing some more building. Uh, we have just done the electric mixing machines. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? So we've done the canteens. Uh, yeah, we don't want these. Uh, I don't really see the point in upgrading the number of trucks yet. Let's finish working on the scouts so that we can at least then unlock the uh, the scout travel time a bit further, I think, maybe. Uh, let's have a quick look and see what else we can do in the healing department. Maybe unlocking another trauma bay might be a good shout. Uh, we can't toggle that all that yet okay yeah let's go for the extra trauma ward Let's get uh, Richard starting on that. And we still have seven permits as well. So let's go ahead and do the breathing enhancing machine as well. There we go. Oh. So, uh... We've got two permits for uh, sending Matthew Baker back to HQ. It's not enough for another nurse, but it's a good uh, stepping stone. So we'll hang on to those for now. Speaking of nurses, let's put uh, Freya and Lily back into the OR. Let's take Natalie and Natalie back out. We'll put Mia back into CCS and we'll move Edith over onto the rehab. Yeah, nurses are on the way. Yeah, engineers reached the construction site. Alright, there we go. Four construction projects queued up. Patients Patient coming in. Arrived. All right, we can't save all of these, unfortunately. Let's see if we can save a couple of them. There we go. Fingers crossed, we'll be good. And 
collapse. Oh, yeah, close to collapsing. Take out quickly. Are on the way. There we go. Right. Yeah, When's our next train load coming in? Oh, any minute. <laughs> an hour and an hour and twenty. Uh, there'll be nine more patients coming in. That truck going out. They're both in action. I wonder if they're both assigned to the same location. I'm not even sure what's happened to our second truck at the moment. <laughs> I haven't seen it coming in. Got a, an exhausted engineer. That's our booze maker. Let's give him a break. Here come the passengers, um, or the patients, by train. I wonder how many they're sending us. Too many, probably. Let's give him the piece he needs. Which means a very long rehab. Things are ticking over okay now. Let's uh, take a look at these casualties that are coming in. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Okay. Uh, we've got a complication to deal with. Yeah, provide the additional supplies. Right. So we've got five new patients in surgery. We've got four patients waiting a decision now in the chemical ward. going to tire out because those are both they're short operations but they are um, both four star difficulty so uh, they will 
definitely tax our poor doctor. Uh, right, actual patients. Uh, we don't have the meds for them anymore. Okay. <laughs> That's frustrating. We'll have to order some more, I think, because we're still waiting on alcohol to come in. We'll have to order some more of that as well. There we go. So we need 11 at a minimum. And that tired uh, nurse in the OR again. Yeah, we definitely need more nursing staff I'm going to move Edith back over right let's order some more supplies so we need uh, more chemical supplies we'll have to just order 10 of those to start with and then we'll order some add some alcohol to that on the next available opportunity which won't be for another six minutes. Yeah, it's definitely something buggy about that. Uh, let's see. Shorter rehab, yes. It's the only option we really had. It'll cost us one extra tool, uh, med supply, but that's okay. Another simplification. Uh, again, we will administer the stronger meds. Morale is currently at 70% now. Make that 69%. Uh, let's adjust the procedure. Uh, oh, nice. A morale boost. Back up to 72%. Good stuff. We're down a couple of construction projects as well. Just the two left. Let's start looking at reassigning these engineers. Let's get Nathaniel making some food. In fact, yeah, we'll leave him making food. Uh, two more patients died after being denied access. Can't save them all. Are we finished burying everybody yet? No. We're still about five patients behind the number of dead. Uh, getting very tired staff. The wall. That's getting a lot of names. That is a lot of names. All right, shorter operation. Good, good, good. patients down here perhaps yep there we go all right let's see can we quickly throw on some alcohol onto that previous order that we made uh, no but it will arrive on the train afterwards so 
Meds will be here in uh, less than two minutes, about a minute and a half. And then we're looking at about four minutes for the alcohol. HQ and HQ. There we go. More permits coming. All quiet up at ADS. That's good. Got a big attack coming in less than 24 hours. More exhausted nurses. Alright. So we got our new med supplies in and immediately used a chunk of them. Well, we've got enough now to treat everybody in chemicals. It's going to new patient in up here and we've got a new trauma patient to deal with. There we go. Simplification, shorter rehab and a morale rise. Nice, back up to 78% again. So having had that uh, crash where our morale went below 50%, we are starting to work our way back up towards the, the highs of the 90s again. That will make things easier. Natalie and Lily and Natalie back into the surgery. Let's take Edith out. Let's give Mia a break. Might have to implement the shift system soon. Let's get a couple of these smaller upgrades in as well while we've got a couple of chits available. Let's have a look at shift system. Yeah, let's uh, get that started. Scouts back. See if we've got another mission yet. No, not yet. Uh, okay, so uh, Edith, let's put her in rehab while we give Aurora a break. Hang on to uh, Evelyn Matthews for now. Oh man, if 
everyone just keeps getting tired. There we go. Almost done. Let's put Mia back in there. Let's take Lottie out. Alright, one of our scout units is back, and not sure what they brought with them. Now the other scout unit is back. Not sure either of them brought anything back with them. Oh, we got a little bit of alcohol. Uh, was that our train delivery? That might be our train delivery that's come through. Uh, Levi's team still not back yet. Are they carrying anything? Oh, we got we got a new a new mission. The miraculous panacea. Rumors among civilians about a new medicine that can heal any sickness. Okay, so potential snake oil salesman, or is this the work of our uh, man in a wide brimmed hat? Uh, we've got its team on its way back to the hospital. We're going to redirect wreck them and we get them on that mission there. Because that's our five scout team rather than our three scout team. So, yeah, we'll send them out. It'll take them a little while to get there, unfortunately. Schedule a normal recovery so we can get the morale boost. Up to 82% now. Slow time down for a second. Just check in with our staffing. Uh, Aurora can go back over there. Let's move Edith into CCS. Just need to unlock that one last team for uh, CCS. And we're going to implement shift system because that's been done now. So I'm going to go 12 hour shifts. And we're going to go with uh, first three on, second three off. And we'll move him out for now. Until we can get the extra slot done. And then ADS, we'll leave that on 24 hours. Cemetery, we'll leave on... 12 hours and we'll have two teams working and two teams not. And again, we'll take this team out. And now we're going to try <laughs> and start remembering who works well in which area. Let's have a look at our nurses now. Uh, let's change them to a 12 hour shift so one on one off there we go and OR we're going to shift that to a 12 hour system we'll have two in two out and CCS we'll shift that to a 12 hour system And we'll take Edith out. We'll put Lottie back in. There we go. And I'm not sure what we'll do with Edith yet. We'll probably uh, add her into the OR mix. And let's put her on the current active shift. 
There we go. So hopefully that will help a little bit. Uh, ideally, we want more nurses. Um, we need at least one more nurse, I think, just so we can make sure we've got um, two teams of three, which can then split into three teams of two when we finally unlock the eight-hour shift. And that should hopefully keep things running nice and smooth. We're on six permits now. well there we go getting a whole hump a uh, whole host of uh, quick and easy little construction projects done while it's quiet Serge is exhausted let's take him out give him a breather surprise is coming uh, nine more patients coming in 11 hours 10 and a half hours looks like that might coincide with the <laughs> with another attack perhaps maybe not ambulance turning up there's just smoke from construction everywhere right now <laughs> Can't see a thing. Uh, let's have a look at these new patients. So, uh, let's get the other one in first. There we go. Uh, one trauma patient, uh, straight into surgery. And one chemical patient, and we'll put him straight into our new German doctor, Carl. Ah, we got a promotion. Excellent. Oh, well, I say promotion. Uh, she's already got warm, helpful, and caring. Those are really good. So we can exchange warm with composed. Works more efficiently, less attracted, uh, less affected by negative or not affected by negative traits. Um, we can change helpful for resilience. Or caring for resilience. Um, I don't want to change any of those. So we'll do nothing. She's my uh, backup. I mean, we've got her in OR right now. But she's my backup for uh, rehab. Don't really want to get rid of that. So we'll, uh, we'll wait and see what happens. It'd be nice to get some skills for Natalie soon. Our new nurse. Right, here we go. We've constructed, we'll finish constructing the hypnosis and amputation tools. A few patients waiting for a decision. Yeah, I'm going to keep holding them back. Got a complication to deal with. Uh, yeah, we'll do the full exam. It's going to wear out that doctor, though. go low pressure gas tanks are done we are 30 minutes away from finishing the trauma ward let's 
assign an extra engineer onto that. So we want Surge making supplies again. Uh, let's get Nathaniel making booze. Uh, let's get Maxwell helping down here with making trauma supplies and Nathaniel We'll get him on the Trauma Ward Enhancement, along with Rich Bennett. And that has immediately taken seven minutes off the uh, construction time. That's good. Having two working side by side. Still all quiet in the trenches. That attack is looming. Another one 24 hours later. We've not had any refugees turn up for a little while now. I wonder if that's linked to this uh, miracle cure that exists out there. Maybe there are no any no refugees left alive to uh, make their way to the hospital. Short of rehab for this patient. That will get them through and uh, back into some kind of service a little bit quicker. Another three star. Yeah, I'm holding on to these just because I'm a little wary of how much our staffing is going to get hit after that first attack that's coming, and the fact that the next one's only 24 hours away. I'd like to have a whole load of patients ready to send straight to the trenches as soon as that attack's over, rather than sending them in now to go and get shelled and come back again. I'm trying to be a little, uh, a little clever with it this time. All right, we have almost caught up here. We are still two bodies short. Where are those two bodies? Don't think they're in the morgue. Where's our other team? Oh, no, wrong button. So we should have two teams on, two teams off. That's Lionel and Lincoln. So where's Abel and Connor? I wonder if they snuck off for a break. Let me check the traits of Abel and Connor. See if they have a history of uh, shirking duty. No, they're both looking pretty solid. Just, I wish I could find them. So we're, we're, we're two bodies short, and I don't know where they are. They could be in the morgue, but you can't actually access the morgue directly. They might be in CCS. Don't think they're up here unless they're in an ambulance. Uh, again, we can't check. It's very odd. Oh, hello. We got a promotion. Right, so Aurora. She is in rehab. So let's make her much better at the rehab. Let's make her caring. Excellent. That will help considerably when it comes to uh, rehabbing our patients. Just looking to see if I can see a team making their way over to the cemetery, and I can't. Yeah. So somewhere along the way, we have lost a couple of bodies. <laughs> That's not ideal.
Uh, here we go. We've got a truck coming back from the depot. There we go. So what happened to our other truck? Oh, it's on its way. Okay, well, that seems like a good place for us to end this particular episode. So, uh, we will continue to try and squeeze out some more upgrades um, before the end of this chapter. Get our hospital in the best possible condition we can get it. Uh, hopefully, we'll get the opportunity to earn a couple more staff permits soon as well, so we can try and get another nurse in before the end. And... Uh, we'll keep an eye on our scouts, make sure that they can get uh, on time, uh, you know, on, on location quickly enough to try and solve this new mysterious miracle drug that's going around. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I'll be back with some more War Hospital Chapter 2 very soon.